It was a very emotional day in court for Officer Eric Matson's family, his fellow officers, and the community of Wasika. The most poignant moment when Officer Matson, wearing his badge, was helped by his wife Megan to the podium to speak. Officer Matson said he was thankful his fellow officers weren't hurt when Janowski fired at them. Janowski had a warrant for his arrest in January when officers surrounded him in a neighborhood and he started firing, hitting Matson in the head. A sergeant with Wasika Police says he replays that night in his head every day. Matson had to go months without seeing his children while rehabilitating because of COVID-19. When he returned home earlier this month, he received a hero's welcome in Wasika. I had so much stolen from me this year. From my daughter's eighth birthday to celebrating Father's Day and other special events, my 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 wife and daughters lost out on so much this year as well. As an officer, I see the unimaginable and the unthinkable. I know that night I was in the wrong clothes at the wrong time and in the wrong place. The defendant knew he had a warrant, and I was and was to be taken to jail. He was willing to hurt anyone in his path. However, when all was said and done, I wanted to protect the people in the house and my fellow officers that were at the scene. The defendant is in a wheelchair because he was hit by officers who fired back. Janowski apologized to Matson and said he hopes his family finds closure. 35 years was the longest sentence possible for this case under Minnesota law. 20 years for trying to kill an officer and another 15 years for firing at a second officer. Back to you.